Okay, so uh, first, I would like to thank the organizer for offering me a chance to uh, present the result. Okay, so uh, today I would like to talk about the uh, scumming excitation in uh, magnetic materials. Basically, scumming is a particle-like uh, magnetic excitation in magnet, and this is what uh, scumming look like. So uh, scumming uh, was discovered in uh, 2009 in experiment. And because of their uh, st uh, stable um, stability and the compact size, and also uh, easy to manipulate, SCUMI has uh, attracted considerable interest during the past few years because of its uh, potential application in a memory device. So uh, in uh, experiments, uh, in order to stabilize SCUMI, some material known so far required to break the inversion symmetry. So in, in my talk, I would like to uh, propose another new uh, mechanism to stabilize scramble in uh, inversion symmetric magnet. And this work is, uh, is in collaboration with uh, uh, former postdoc, Satoru Hayami, and also uh, um, Christian Parista. So let, uh, let me briefly, uh, briefly uh, introduce uh, Las Ramos. Okay, so the uh, Las Ramos National Laboratory is uh, located in uh, New Mexico. Yeah, and uh, it's sitting atop of uh, a mesa, uh, which uh, were formed after a gigantic uh, volcano eruption a million years ago. So lava flows uh, flew from the mountain and condensed here, and because of the action water, it formed uh, canyons. So uh, La Samosa Valley uh, uh, is a scientific town and it's quite quiet. So according to the latest uh, census, uh, almost 30% uh, of uh, its residents, residents have a PhD degree. I think this probably is the highest in the US or even in the world. So when you uh, go, uh, drive to Los Angeles through uh, the East Gate, so this you, you will see, and they, we are very uh, proud of this. So Los Angeles, so we are discovered, discoveries are made. Okay, so uh, this is uh, out the plan of the talk. So I will first uh, briefly uh, introduce a uh, uh, scumming in a so-called color magnet, where the immersion symmetry uh, is broken. And I will uh, propose the design principles for scumming in immersion symmetric magnet. And uh, I, I will show you the result. I mean, I'll obtain by numerical simulation, this diagram. And also we will uh, discuss the possible experiment Experimental uh, ident identification of scumions in, in a real earth magnet and a frustrated magnet. Okay, so uh, this is what uh, scumion look like. So, uh, so we look, represent the spin as a unit vector. So at the center of a scumion, the spin uh, is pointing downward. And as we uh, move away from the uh, scumion center, the spin uh, canted and, and become uh, upward when we uh, access the infinity. So meanwhile, if we uh, move around the scumming, the spin uh, winds uh, by two pi. So it has a winding number uh, equal to one. And this is another uh, typical uh, scumming configuration. And okay, so this we call near scumming, and this we call uh, block scumming. Actually, uh, in terms of topology, those two uh, spin texture are equivalent. So we can obtain this one by a global rotation spin along the c-axis by half pi. So you know the uh, uh, smooth uh, deformation of the texture uh, won't change the uh, topology. So this two has the same uh, topological charge. So now if we uh, wrap the plane onto a surface of a sphere, so, uh, so the, okay, so it's a spin at the infinity are the same, so they can contract to a single point, we say it's, it's, if we contract to a, a north pole, so it's spinning it up, and the spin at, uh, in the center is uh, sitting in the south pole. So uh, after this mapping, so the spin covers a, a sphere once, and this uh, defines the topological charge uh, for the uh, scumium. So and this is a mathematical ex expression. Actually, uh, the uh, a scumming has the same uh, topology as, uh, as, uh, as that in, in the hedgehog. So actually, there's a very uh, interesting uh, video you, you can find in uh, YouTube. 
So when a hedgehog uh, meets a dog, it will transform into a ball. So this is an example of a topologically protected state in nature. OK, so here's a little bit uh, more history about the uh, skirmia. So uh, we know that skirmia uh, is named after a skirm. So this is a, a rust of a, uh, in theoretical division during uh, World War II. So at that time, so uh, Visa is our division leader. And uh, uh, Richard Freeman is our former uh, group leader. So uh, Scum was a, a student uh, working with uh, Rodolf Pierce at that time. And after he uh, returned back to Scotland, he uh, proposed his famous uh, Lagrangia, which is a non trivial uh, topological excitation. And uh, nowadays, we call uh, those uh, topological excitation as a Scumian. So um, in, ma in magnetic material, we know that how to uh, stabilize skirmia if we have some material breaks the immersion symmetry. So this is the one uh, effective spin Hamiltonian, which has a uh, skirmia solution. So it has, uh, it has three atoms. So the, okay, because skirmia size is much bigger than the atomic lattice, so we, tend, we can take a continuum limit. So uh, in this Hamiltonian, so the fourth term describes the a ferromagnetic exchange between uh, spins. And the second term is uh, so called uh, the Lorentzinsky Maria interaction. And as you can see, this initial term has, um, uh, has involved a uh, first order spatial derivative, which means that if we uh, take the spatial immersion, so changing r from minus r, so this term uh, changes sign. So this term is allowed only in a uh, material without immersion symmetry. And the last term is a, is a uh, usual uh, Zeeman coupling written in a uh, dimensionless form. So uh, for this uh, Hamiltonian, there is a uh, topological non-trivial state. So here is one example of the uh, spin texture obtained by uh, minimizing the uh, energy. And this is a, a, a block here. Okay, so here uh, is a, a phase diagram um, obtained by a numerical simulation of the Hamiltonian I just showed you. So it, there are uh, four phases. So at low field and low temperature, we have a helix. So in this phase, so the spin uh, is, is rotating in a plane that is parallel to magnetic field. The magnetic field is along, along the uh, uh, C direction, along the Z direction. So when we, inc when we increase magnetic field, so this uh, state uh, becomes the uh, becomes so-called a conical phase via the first phase transition. So in this state, the spin is planted towards the magnetic field direction, and also it rotates with a uh, wave vector parallel to the magnetic field. And there is a very interesting uh, phase close to the near temperature. And this is uh, in this phase we have a uh, and crystal, uh, scumian crystal. So they are uh, triangular lattice. And this is a, a scumian in 3D is a line-like object. They are very similar to the uh, vortex uh, lattice in um, type 2 supermicros. So this is a result for 3D. And you can see the scumian is only stable in very uh, 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 tiny region, close to near temperature. However, in um, thin film, uh, the scumian become uh, much more uh, stable, and it can be uh, stable down to uh, zero temperature, as I showed here. And the reason is that in 2D, the conical phase is, is uh, suppressed by reducing the uh, dimensionality. This, in, in turn, in favor of the scumian lattice solution. And this is our first experiment result on the uh, detection of scumians. So, uh, so it's just so in neutral, they use a small angle neutron scattering. And what uh, they found is that they found a, a six uh, black peak, which uh, signals the uh, uh, condensation of scumian, la scumian into a uh, triangular lattice. And uh, the material is a uh, magnetic city size. And uh, so this is uh, a crystal structure of this material. As you can see, if we make the immersion uh, operation of the uh, crystal, so this immersion center, so this uh, magnetic ion goes to this point, so it, which is different from the original uh, uh, structure. So this crystal don't have 
doesn't have uh, emotion symmetry. And, it, so, and the, it's what we call color magnet. Okay, so, uh, so previously is a uh, observation uh, schema in a momentum space. Basically, it's uh, by neutron scattering. And then in 2010, the schema has also been observed in real space by uh, Rowland's uh, transformation, uh, uh, Rowland's, um, transformation electron microscopy. So this is uh, the uh, real experiment data. So we have a magnetic helix, and uh, at the intermediate magnetic field, we have a, a schema lattice, and they form um, beautiful triangle lattice. And this is a blow up, blow up of the uh, spin texture in a single schema. So, and then later, uh, a several uh, class, um, uh, several family of schema hosting material has, has been identified, including uh, metal, semiconductor, and even insulators. So the phase time, phase diagram for schema in those materials are very similar, in the, indicating that they are governed by the same uh, low energy Hamiltonian. Actually, this is an effective low energy Hamiltonian to describe the magnetic excitation in, in those uh, class of materials. And as you can see, that uh, so, so, so the in those materials are stabilized by so called the thoracic marine interaction, which requires to break the inversion symmetry. So the, so the next question why uh, scumming are so interesting? So here is one. Uh, uh, each property associated with skirmia. So now let's con consider a, a, a matter. So in matter, we have a localized moment, and we can also have a connection electron. So if we uh, inject current in into the matter, so the connection electron moves in response to the current. And because of the local exchange interaction between uh, connection electron and the localized moment, so the spin of the connection electron is fully polarized by the localized moment. So when the uh, conduction electron move around the ascomium, so that its spin direct change adiabatically and it trace out the, uh, the ascomium uh, topology. So this process can be uh, effectively described by an emergent magnetic field or the uh, fictitious magnetic field. And this fictitious magnetic field is related to the ascomium topological charge. So, so this is coming to right charge, and basically it's a magnetic flux in a nanosphere. So this field, this uh, magnetic field is huge. For instance, for coming of order of 10 nanometer, the effective magnetic field can be as big as 100 tesla. So because of this uh, magnetic field, the, the connection electron uh, experience a huge Lorentz force. So as a result, it will uh, produce uh, so, so it's a whole uh, conductivity. And in, in, in our field, we call the topological Hall effect because this arises from uh, the topology of the ascomium. So this uh, experiment data, which uh, clearly shows the, uh, the uh, topological Hall effect induced by ascomium uh, topology. So here is uh, the data the whole, uh, lucid, uh, whole uh, lucidity. So you can see in, in, in the scumming phase, it, it's become non-zero, and away from scumming phase, it vanishes. So another interesting of, uh, property of scumming is that, so they can be uh, driven by a weak current. So through the so-called uh, spin transfer top. Here's a, a simple, simple picture to illustrate how a uh, scumming can be uh, driven by a current. So now let's take a cross section of the uh, scumming. So away from scumming, we have a spin uh, pointing up, and at the center of the scumming, the spin is pointing uh, down. So now if we uh, inject a current, so the, the spin of the current of the connection electron is polarized by, the, by uh, those uh, localized moments. So when the... Um, connection actually moves to the center of the scumia, and its spin is flipped. And in order to conserve the um, magnetic moment, the spin of the local uh, moment has to be flipped upward. And for the same reason, if uh, the connection moves to the right, this spin has to be uh, flipped downward. 
So if we compare uh, those two uh, spin configuration, you can see that the uh, schema is displaced by uh, one lattice constant due to the uh, conduction electron. And this is, uh, is a simple picture of, of the uh, well-known spin transfer torque. Actually, the uh, driven motion of schema has also been observed in experiment. So here, uh, this is uh, the uh, data. So what they, uh, okay, so um, they first uh, uh, prepare the system such that the, the, the scumming lattice is stabilized, then they uh, inject current. So when the current uh, is weak, uh, they don't see anything. Once the current reach uh, a threshold value, this, they find that the whole uh, resistivity decreases. And this is due to the motion of scumming. So in this region, the scumming lattice are pinged because you know in real material we all have defect. So those defects can ping the uh, scumming. And while in this uh, region, so, so the, the driven force is larger than the pinging force, uh, so scumming start to move. And if we look carefully at the numbers, so you can see that the, the, the critical current to the ping uh, scumming is only of order of uh, 10 to 6 ampere per square meter. And this is a very small current. So for comparison, if we want to uh, drive the uh, magnetic domain walls into motion, the required current density is, is like 10 to 11 ampere per square meter. So this is a huge advantage for uh, using uh, scumming to carry information. And this, and this is, I think, one main reason why people are so uh, excited about uh, scumming in the uh, memory device application. OK, so and this is an experiment which uh, observes the real space, a real time motion of scumming due to current. So they inject current uh, vertically, and this, and, uh, this is that scumming uh, uh, moves due to the current. So because, OK, so scumming is a, is a localized magnetic excita excitation. So they, basically, they, they uh, behave like a particle. So the first question we would like to ask is, uh, what is the equation motion for uh, scumming? So here is a uh, four equation motion that describes the motion of scumming in the presence of a current. So the V is the velocity of scumming, and because we have a dissipation in the system, so we have a, a vis viscous force. And this, this is a uh, non-trivial term, which uh, arises due to the scumming non-trivial topology. So we call it a, a magnetic force, which uh, is perpendicular to the velocity. Okay, here we consider a 2D plane. So this is a, is a unit, unit vector that is perpendicular to the plane. And the coefficient alpha is much bigger than eta. And also we have a Lorentz force acting on the uh, scumming. So this is described by this term. So J is the external current. And we, of course, we also have an interaction between scumming. And we also have an interaction between scumming and the defect. So now if we have a... a effect in the system, and this effect uh, works as a pinning center. So, so if there's a attractive force between the pinning force and a pinning center and the scumming, so the scumming uh, moves, and because of this uh, magnetic force, the velocity uh, tends to be uh, perpendicular to the uh, pinning force. So as a result, uh, scumming can avoid the pinning center by moving around because of the magnetic force. And for the same uh, reason, if we have an obstacle, the scumming can also avoid the obstacle by, uh, through this uh, mechanism. And this is, a, is a, the one reason why the pinning of scumming due to uh, defect is so weak. OK, so as I mentioned, scumming can be used in a memory device. So this is one proposal to uh, use scumming for information storage. So this so-called uh, scumming raised check memory is a, a theoretic proposal. So suppose we uh, stabilize scumming in the, around the uh, race track, and we, if we inject current, so we can uh, move information around the race track, and this information can be read through, um, written through the GM map here. So in order to uh, uh, to use scumming, so the, we have to uh, create and uh, uh, to have to create scumming. So here's a, one uh, demonstration how uh, scumming can be 
uh, created in a controlled way by a um, spin polarized STM. So they prepare a thin film of iron atop on atop uh, of a leading subject. So then they inject spin polarized current through the uh, STM tape. So as you can see that after the uh, spin current, the schema can be uh, can uh, can be created. And if and uh, if they re uh, reverse the polarization of the spin current, they can even uh, remove the can delete the schema. And uh, here is another uh, beautiful experiment, uh, which uh, clear, uh, which shows how to create schema by electric current. So they consider a geome geometric construction. And in the left hand side, we have a, a strap domains. And now, if we inject current, so this uh, strap domain is driven toward the uh, geometric construction. And then at the uh, construction, this uh, domain is conver converted into schemas. So this is very uh, similar to the uh, to blowing uh, bubbles. And the, the, the reason is that in, because, uh, okay, it's, uh, it's due to the edge instability of those uh, strap domains. So because when a strap domain enter into the geometric construction, so it's, there is a, okay, it's experiencing a much stronger force than the, uh, uh, than the uh, strap domain in other place. As a result, so the, um, the strap domain is, uh, chop is chopped by the electric current at the uh, construction. And those uh, objects then relax and form a skirmings. Okay, so uh, so far we, um, the, uh, the skirmings are stabilized by the, uh, the so-called uh, authorization marine interaction, which require to break an inversion symmetry. So the, the question is, uh, can we stabilize skirmium by other uh, mechanism? So, and uh, as I will uh, show you later, that is, that is, it is possible to uh, stabilize skirmium by uh, competing in inversion in, 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 in symmetric magnet. And uh, those uh, can be, and the in, 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 in uh, okay. And because of uh, competing inversion is quite uh, uh, ubiquitous in real magnet, and we propose uh, several uh, compounds to, to realize a skirmium in, in inversion symmetric magnet. Okay, so actually, um, you know, in, in uh, for scaling phase, it shows up uh, uh, as a, uh, a six black peak in neutron scattering. So this means that scaling can be regarded as a linear superposition of uh, three helices. So here's an example. So now, if we suppose we consider one uh, single Q magnetic helices, so we have a, a pro propagating wave vector in this direction, and the spin is rotating in a plane that is a parallel is perpendicular to the uh, wave vector. This is a, a single Q magnetic helix. The color uh, represent, represents the Z component of spin. Now, if we put the two uh, magnetic helix together, and, uh, and we, this is what we will get, if we simple uh, linear superpose to magnetic helix, they actually is a vortex and anti-vortex like this. Now, if we put uh, three uh, Q uh, magnetic helices, uh, this is what we will get, it become a triangulated of skirmings. So this is a, uh, actually is a uh, wave nature of the skirming lattice. So, so in other words, we can regard the uh, skirming lattice as a particle, can also, we can also regard it as a, a wave. So now if the, um, if the lattice constant of the skirming lattice become bigger and bigger, then we will uh, reach a single skirming limit. And if we, we take this limit, and uh, if we, we, we look at the, the spin structure factor, then there will be a harmonics in the uh, spin structure factor. So, so the particle nature of skirming manifests as a high harmonics. So here is a, a design a principle to stabilize skirming in uh, emergency symmetric, symmetric magnet. Now let's uh, consider, for instance, the uh, uh, simple uh, uh, exchange interaction between uh, spins. So the general form uh, of the exchange interaction can be written in this form. So we have a JQ is the exchange interaction in the momentum space, and this is a magnetic moment. 
So because, uh, as I just mentioned, a scheme can be regarded as a, a linear superposition of uh, three helices. So the optimal uh, crystal structure to still write schema is, um, is a triangle lattice, which also have a C6 rotation symmetry. So then the, the schema lattice can commensurate with the uh, spin lattice. Now, if we uh, simply uh, linear superpose three uh, helices, then the, uh, the magnitude of the spin is no longer constant in space. So this will cost uh, exchange energy at zero temperature. So in order to uh, compensate this energy loss, so we propose to use an uh, easy external surgery. And the uh, reason is as follows. Now, if we have an easy external surgery, so we can stabilize, um, uh, for instance, in one d case, we can have a, a, a up domain and down domain, and there's a domain wall. And the, the domain wall costs energy. It can also have uh, this kind of uh, domain structures. Now, if we have uh, uh, circular uh, domains, so it's, uh, in, the, in this circle, the spin is up, and in the rest, in this uh, region, it becomes down. And it also costs energy at the domain walls. So now, if we compare the, uh, the length of the domain wall, you can convince yourself that the length of the domain wall in, the, this, drum, in this uh configuration is, is shorter than the uh, uh, domain wall in this configuration. So the easy X and the surgery prefer a uh, solution with, um, with modulation in, uh, both, in both in X and Y directions. And if we, so this uh, consider, consideration suggests that if we have a, a magnetic material with a, a competing uh, exchange interaction and also have a, a, a appropriate easy X and surgery, so we might, ha might have a scheming solution in the ground state. So, uh, so this is a so, okay. So, so Hamiltonian we propose to stabilize the in inversion symmetry magnet. So we have a, as I said before, we have a usual exchange interaction. This can be uh, due to uh, indirect uh, RKKY -K 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 right uh, exchange interaction. And then we also have a easy X and a and and semi interaction. Okay, so now if we, uh, so when the schema size is much uh, bigger than the atomic lattice of the spins, so we can take a continuum limit. So, uh, and uh, then we end up with a very um, simple Hamiltonian. And actually, this is a, a new uh, class of uh, Ginsburg Landau uh, free energy functional that has a non trivial uh, schema solutions. And this is a phase diagram obtained by the variational calculation of, the, uh, of this. Hamiltonian, and there are several phases. So, and uh, at the intermediate magnetic field, and uh, also easy X and isotropy, we have a triangular lattice of skirmings here. And we also uh, 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 performed an unbiased uh, Monte Carlo simulation to uh, check whether really there is a, a skirming lattice, and uh, this is a, a phase diagram. And uh, indeed, we, we find uh, uh, we, we found the uh, scumming uh, crystals at the intermediate, intermediate magnetic field and the low temperature. Okay, so the, in the sim a simulation, we uh, consider a, 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 a triangular lattice of uh, Heisenberg, mod, Heisenberg spins, and there is a, a frustrated interaction between um, spins. So we have a near sun neighbor uh, ferromagnetic, ferromagnetic interaction, and also have a uh, um, next near near stable uh, antiferromagnetic exchange interaction. And these are the uh, spin configuration obtained by uh, Monte Carlo simulation. So we have a, in the left column, so we have a, a single Q uh, magnetic helix. And this is spin shock factor. And, uh, and this is a, okay, this is a conical phase. And this is a, a, a scumming lattice phase. This it contains a, into a beautiful uh, triangular lattice, and it is a spin shock factor, which has a, a six uh, black peak. And at high temperature, the scumming lattice melts, and then, yeah, so we have a, a, a fluid of uh, scumings. Okay, so now we also uh, consider the uh, 3D case. So interesting uh, point for considering 3D case is that because of, in 3D case, we can also have a 
uh, competing interaction around the C-axis. This can give us a uh, different spin, uh, scaling configuration, as I will show you later. So now let's uh, consider first the uh, simplest case, the set of the uh, interlayer coupling is from a magnet. So in, in this case, you can imagine that the spin is tried uh, to uh, align, align around the uh, layer direction. So as a result, we have a, a, a scaling line lattice. So we have uh, the spin is as uh, the spin configuration is uniform in the third direction. And this is a, a, a phase diagram. So the scaling uh, lattice is stabilized, also uh, at, at the uh, intervening magnetic field, uh, magnet field, and low temperature. Now, so the next question, what happens if we introduce a competing direction along the C direction? So here we introduce a ferromagnetic, near yes, neighbor inter, uh, extreme direction, and uh, also anti-ferromagnetic. Next, the near neighboring uh, interaction. So the consequence is that, so in this case, the scaling line is, is tilted away from the um, applied magnetic field direction. You know, for when, when uh, without uh, competing in the six direction, the scaling line is along, along scaling line is aligned along the magnetic field direction. But once we have a competing direction, they tilted away from the uh, magnetic field direction. And this situation is also quite different from the the uh, color magnetic case, where the scaling line is, is always aligned around the magnetic field direction. And this is a, a, a plot of the uh, scaling core. So, so this uh, uh, are the core region of the scaling. So this is from line objects and the tilted away from the magnetic field. OK, now we will play with uh, the uh, CX uh, magnetic interaction. Now we introduce uh, anti um interaction between layers. So because of the anti interaction, so scaling try to avoid uh, each other when we move around the layer direction. So, and uh, as a consequence, actually, the, the center of the scaling is shifted from layer to layer. And the period of, of, the, of the modulation in the C direction is, is uh, true. So, so what we uh, have, is that we'll have an AB, AB uh, stacking of uh, scamings along the C direction. And we know that for this uh, configuration, it's it just uh, correspond to the uh, uh, HCP lattice of scamings. And this is a, a plot. So here we plot a, a spin uh, configuration at each surface. So we have a, a scamming. And as you can see, if we move around the layer direction, the spin uh, is modulated yeah, by, uh, with a period equal to two. And now we, we, can, uh, uh, we can tune the uh, period of the modulation in the C direction. For instance, if, by, if we uh, introduce uh, AFM anti ferromagnetic interaction between the nearest neighbor and also second nearest neighbor, then we, we can, uh, by proper tuning those, those uh, strings, we can have um, ABC, ABC uh, stacking of uh, scamings. So in, in this case, uh, actually, the, um, it's correspond to the face center, the cubic lattice of scamings. So this is uh, uh, the plot. So you can see that, with, again, we have a, a beautiful scamming uh, completion here, and there's a modulation around the C direction is, is, uh, is, has a period of three. So the uh, bottom line is that, okay, scaling are, are particles, and they can uh, organize into hexagonal close-packed structure, and also can, uh, um, can also um, connect into a phase center the cubic lattice, depending on the competing direction in the C direction. And uh, as, as, just, as I mentioned, that schema can be also regarded, schema lattice can also be regarded as a uh, linear superposition of uh, helices. So actually the result of, of those uh, structures can be understood in terms of the linear superposition of uh, helices. And here I show you the, it's a little bit, little bit a bit technical, I just, uh, I will go through quickly. So, so here is the uh, answers to describe the schema lattice in, in, in layered structure. So, so basically, scumming can be 
regarded as um, a linear superposition, superposition of three helices. And A is a uh, mineralization factor to guarantee that the total spin is uniform in space. And as a result, this mineralization uh, factor creates high, higher uh, order in Qs, such as Q1, uh, 2Q1, 2Q2, and uh, 2Q3, uh, which cost energy. And the change of the theta corresponds to the shift of the scaling center. So um, the, 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 the uh, optimal condition to stabilize scaling is that the, the, the summation of those uh, three Q has to be zero or two pi. So because of this uh, condition, so that the scaling is, is uh, more stable when Q, so the QZ, so the modulation, so we vector in the C direction is equal to zero or two pi of three. And this uh, also explains why in, in, in our simulation with the, um, the student scheme line with QZ equal to zero, zero and uh, the fifth center cubic lattice of scheme with QZ equal to two pi of three are, are more stable than uh, the uh, HCP lattice of scheme. Okay, so uh, in order to have a, a scheme, we, have a, we need to have um, uh, exchange interactions. So the, the optimal uh, exchange interaction kernel is that uh, it uh, has a, a, a ordering wheel vector Q uh, that uh, is in the AB plane. But if the ordering, okay, but if the intera uh, complete interaction around the CX is much stronger than the in plane interaction, and if in this case, the schema lattice is less favored because of the uh, non-zero QZ due to the competing interaction on the C-axis. So this is uh, a numerical result. Once the uh, QZ become, uh, become uh, uh, when the, uh, okay, the interaction on the C-axis becomes stronger, so scheming lattice are, are suppressed. And also, uh, here is a shows how, uh, how uh, the, the field time depends on the easy X and the plane. As you can see that, so we require, uh, it requires a moderate uh, magnitude of the easy X and the such in order to uh, stabilize a scheming lattice. Okay, so here in order to show the uh, particle nature of a scheming, so here we apply an uh, inhomogeneous current to the system. So basically we inject a current at the bottom layer to decouple the, the scheming in different layers. So here we, we calculate, because this is the velocity of the scheme, so we calculate velocity of scheme at the bottom and also velocity of scheme in the, in the top layer. So once the current reaches some uh, critical value, so the uh, scheme uh, in the bottom layers start to move while the scheme at the top layer are uh, at rest. So, so, so the scheme in different layers can easily decouple from each other if we have a, a homogeneous current. And this uh, demonstrated that the uh, scheme in, in those uh, material can really behave as a particle and can, driven, uh, can, can decouple from each other. Okay, here uh, I, I discussed uh, briefly the uh, possible experimental signatures to uh, see uh, scheme. So the one uh, uh, convenient uh, way to uh, propose uh, whether scheme exists or not is to look at the uh, MH curve. Magnetization as a function of magnetic field. So if we have a, a scheming lattice, when we'll see a plateau uh, if, we, uh, in, as, uh, if we increase magnetic field. So, so this will be a quick check of the, whether uh, the material can have a scheming. And uh, of course, if we have, we will see this, and then the next step is that we, we can use a, a small angle Newton scattering to look at the spin struck factor. And uh, in the end, we also need to pro, pro, uh, perform um, with the Lorentz uh, trans uh, transmission electron microscopy to visualize the spin configuration directly. Okay, I think I'm running out of time. I just mentioned briefly the uh, unique property of uh, scheme in the inversion symmetric magnet. So because in, in inversion symmetric magnet, we have additional uh, inversion symmetry. So in this case, the scheme has a has so-called uh, um, uh, has a U1 symmetry, which is associated with the rotation of spin around the magnetic field direction. 
And this, this uh, actually give us a, a, a new cornerstone mode of Scrumian. So the, the, so called the helicity becomes a cornerstone mode. Basically, helicity is uh, the, 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 the uh, rotation of, of the rotation degree of spins. It can uh, change without cost energy in, in the inversion symmetric magnet. Okay, and because of, of this uh, degree freedom, so that uh, uh, if we apply current, the schema can uh, perform a, a, a circular motion, and uh, it's, a, it's a helicity change continuously uh, from here yeah, from, uh, uh, from a half pi to pi and become a minus half pi, and it will become a zero. And this uh, motion has not, is not possible in, in color magnet. Okay, so here's a, a conclusion. So uh, here I, I have uh, discussed uh, the possible mechanic, mechanism to step by scheme in emotion symmetric magnet, and it requires a computer interaction with which uh, maximize um, exchange interaction kernel at a non-zero Q. And uh, we also look, uh, need a moderate easy X and such way. And, uh, for crystal structure, because of the uh, C6 rotation symmetry, so the hexagonal uh, crystal structure is optimal for uh, stabilization of schemas, and the Q should be uh, in the AB plane. So uh, with that, so thank you for your uh, kind attention. Uh, do two skirmions uh, repel each other? What is the effective interaction between two skirmions? Okay. So uh, it depends on, depends on the uh, material or oh, the mechanism to stabilize skirmion. So in, in, in the magnet without inversion symmetry, so the interaction between two skirmion is repulsive. While in, uh, in, in the, in the uh, inversion symmetric magnet, the interaction is non-monotonic. It, it depends on the distance. It depends on the separation. It can be either attractive or repulsive. And what's, uh, what sets the size of uh, the skirmion core in this um, non-inversion inverse, symmetric uh, magnet? So it's, it's given by this opt actually uh, the optimal Q, because it's, uh, it's due to the, it's uh, depends on the computing interaction. The Q that maximizes the exchange interaction kernel. Uh, 